art class. This art lesson is all about autumn. We're gonna find our inspiration from the season of autumn today and a contemporary artist named Eloise Rinoff. Let's look at her book, 20 Ways to Draw a Tree. Eloise Renoff is an artist, designer, and illustrator living and working in England. The things that she creates are decorative, yet simple, colorful, but thoughtful, inspired by the outside, rethought on the inside. Today, you will learn about line so that you can use curved lines, straight lines, wavy lines, or zigzag lines to create tree trunks and branches that have character. Let's get started. You will need your construction paper, scissors, glue, and a black marker. The first thing you need to do is to select two colors, one for the sky and one for the land. I'm folding the land paper in half horizontally, and now I'm cutting it out. That's going to be the land, and the purple is the sky. So I'm gluing the land piece to the sky. This is my background. Sky land. Get your construction paper. If you have any other interesting printed papers at home that you want to add to this project, make sure you have permission to use the paper. Adding additional printed papers will add a nice effect to this project. I'm cutting different tree shapes out of different colors of paper. I want all of my shapes to be different and unique so that every tree has a personality. Some of my shapes are geometric and others are more organic. I'm cutting out a lot of tree shapes because I want to make a forest. That means the trees are going to overlap. This one's a triangle because it's going to be a pine tree. All of your tree shapes don't have to be fall colors. Pick an interesting selection of colors. Depending on the size of your trees, I want you to cut out at least six different trees so that you can overlap them. I'm making sure that all of my tree shapes fit on my background paper. Let's see, how many trees did I cut out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you need a black marker. I've decided to use my permanent Sharpie. Start by drawing a vertical line down the center of the tree. I'm gonna add lines inside of every tree shape. That's my pine tree. Notice that I'm always starting with a vertical line down the middle of each tree. I'm looking at Eloise Renoff's tree illustrations for inspiration and sometimes I'm drawing her trees and then sometimes I'm making up my own trees. Again, I'm starting with a vertical line down the middle. I'm gonna try to draw this tree. Notice that it has a lot of Y-shaped branches. And then I'm gonna come back and add dots just to make it interesting. Remember, these trees are kind of whimsical and fun. These are not scientific illustrations. These trees are filled with patterns and designs. They are inspired by nature. Again, I'm starting with a vertical line down the center. This tree is going to have different circles inside of it, just like the tree in the illustration. Now I'm adding some dots around the circles. Eloise Renoff is inspired by all things patterned and decorative, especially mid-century textiles and patterns. Perhaps you've seen some of her fabric designs. She also designs glasses and stationery. She's even designed a gift card for Target. Again, I'm starting with a vertical line down the middle of this tree shape. Now I'm drawing diagonal lines and then I'm gonna come back and add a crisscross pattern in the middle, just for a little bit more variety and a little bit more interest. I wanna make all of my trees interesting and unique. So I'm adding a variety of different lines and designs inside of each tree, starting with a vertical line every time. This tree kind of looks like a lollipop. See, use your imagination, have fun with the tree decorating. I call this one lollipop tree. Again, I'm starting with a vertical line in the center of my tree shape. 
Now I'm going to draw horizontal lines and I'm going to make a Y branch. This, this tree kind of looks like this one over here with all the horizontal lines. And then I'm gonna come back and add a bit of a vertical line. That looks interesting. If you have some metallic markers at home, maybe you wanna draw some of your tree designs with a metallic marker or a white marker just to add a little bit of variety to your tree designs. I'm adding some dots to the end of each branch and I've decided to add a few more branches. I'm gonna extend this one branch up at the top just to fit more of the tree shape. Okay, how many trees did I decorate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many trees did you decorate? Get your background and your glue stick. Before I glue, I want to arrange my tree shapes onto the background to make sure that they all fit. Because I have nine different tree shapes, I have to overlap them. But I want my picture to look like a forest. So in a forest, there are trees in front of trees. What I'm going to do is take off the trees that are in front of the trees. And first, I'm gluing the trees in the background. These are the trees that are close to the horizon line. Either they're below the horizon line or on the horizon line or just slightly above the horizon line. These are the trees in the background, so they have to get glued down first. This one I'm going to glue on just slightly above the horizon line. Now get your black marker. You're gonna extend that vertical line down from the middle of the tree. This is your tree trunk, and you might wanna make the trunk a little bit thicker so it's strong enough to hold up the tree. Before I glue the rest of the trees, I'm going to draw all of the tree trunks first. Now I'm going to figure out what trees look good in front of my background trees. I'm gluing down a row of trees in front of the trees closest to the horizon line. Now these trees are a little bit closer to the bottom of the paper. I'm going to glue down these three trees in front of the four trees in the background and place them carefully so that you can still see the trees in the background. You are gluing trees on top of trees. You're overlapping your trees and that's creating the illusion of distance. It's making the scene look like there's so many trees, like a forest. Now get your black marker and extend the trunks of the trees down. These trunks can go all the way off the paper if you want. Now I have two more trees to glue. That looks like a good spot. Make sure you can still see the trees behind the trees. I'm extending the tree trunk down. And this is my last tree to glue. Just to make it interesting, I'm not gonna draw this tree trunk all the way down to the bottom of the page. Some trees are not as tall as other trees. Okay, there you have it. A forest of trees, autumn trees, inspired by Eloise Renoff. I had so much fun creating a fall forest with you today. When your art project is finished, please upload it into our Artsonia gallery. I look forward to seeing your finished artwork.